All right, welcome back guys. Today I'm gonna show you how to, um, let's say you're in your boat or your RV or whatever, and your uh, refrigerator goes all wonky on you. Uh, the temperature thermostat thing doesn't work. This is a mechanical uh, Waco. And it's the Seacop BD35F. Assuming that the control unit is working, I'll show you how to replace it with one of these things. This is uh, about a $5 little thing with a thermostat and it has a relay that'll control up to 30 amps. Yes, that's right, get it on, no waffle, let's get on it. Now, first thing you do is to you make yourself a little jumper that goes from C to T, just to make sure that the compressor is actually running, working, and that it starts, just like this one did. Now locate your main positive, that's this one that's marked positive, and your main negative. These come from the control panel or from the battery via fuse. Locate that one. That one is going to get rerouted into the controller. This is for illustration, but for every connection you do, you use a high quality um, ferrule with a ferrule crimper. Uh, and you make sure you use the appropriate uh, gauge wire. This one's uh, two and a half square mil. So look that up. And then also don't start projects like this if you don't know what you're doing. Because this is electrical, it can cause fires. Now if you're unsure of the quality of your controller, you can wire it up by using the main positive and negative and going there and then testing the probe to see if the temperature indication actually works. And it does. Now that you have uh, arranged your cables the way you want them to, you're gonna make a harness. And I use these soldering thingies uh, that makes for a great connection and solders the ends. And I use a heat gun for this. So I wired it up for you now, and it's uh, measuring air temperature right now. I have a little glass of water here, and I have the mains in uh, that powers the board here, the main negative, and then the main positive goes into here, and then this relay will send the power and turn on the compressor. That's this wire here. So I just made a split here, like I told you. All right, so I set it to... Uh, this is the test, nine, yeah. So if I heat it up now with my fingers, yeah, there it became too warm, and it starts. And then I'm gonna put it in water. When we wake. Yes, that's right, Cody. We'll listen to you while we wait for the temperature to go down. Yep, two degree hysteresis. His hysteresis. So, so that's how you do it. Um, it's really simple. This took less than an hour. Uh, you can do it. Just make sure you use good quality wires, good connections, use soldering connections, don't cut any corners. Um, because this is electricity and it can cause fires. So that's how you make your boat or RV or whatever thing last a lot longer. Um, the mechanical thermostats on these things are crap. They simply are not any good. Um, so enough of that. Now the last step is to pull the wire through here for the thermostat. Find a suitable location which you want to measure the temperature in. And you're all done. And one more tech tip. Like this here is the loop wire that I made between charlie and tango on the control box if you want to change the speed of this compressor that runs off of 12 volt all you got to do is uh, add a resistor here which is uh, in the manual you can find it online uh, to to change the speed this one doesn't have a resistor so it's at zero ohm it'll be running at 2000 rpm and then you can crank it all the way up to 3500 by changing the uh, the ohms if you add like a 1.5 kilo ohm 
uh, resistor there, it'll increase to 3500 RPM and you'll get more cooling power. If you need it. Check if you need it. Alright, so now we have the temperature sensor up here. I pulled it through gently here, uh, taped it nicely and uh, just used a 2.5mm uh, wire to pull it through. Super easy. Alright guys, the project is done. Dirt cheap thermostat is installed and uh, I've been testing it now. It works really well. Uh, you can uh, go to programming one to change the hysteresis. That means uh, in and out and how much tolerance and then P4 is calibration. This works really well. And now I'm just experimenting with finding a good uh, location for the probe. This is out of commission and the job is well done. Now, in exchange of uh, $5, I think, which made me really poor, I uh, was able to save uh, a lot of money and uh, doing it yourself is always a great idea if you have the know-how. I recommend uh, people do that. Um, I'm gonna draw up a schematic to show you how it's wired and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.